What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be working on the BMW, some of the main objectives for today. The rear right wheel, I want to take it to get the tire replaced so that it, we could have a matching set in the rear. I want to raise up the suspension a little bit so that the ride height could be a bit more comfortable to drive. And I also want to work on the fog light and the fenders. So we'll see uh, what we get done today. I already got the car on like ramps and a piece of wood. So that it could be a little bit easier to get the jack under. We're gonna start out by removing or at least loosening up all the wheels and then raise up the car. Car is now jacked up. We can go ahead and start removing all our wheels. I don't really know how to raise the suspension on the rear of this car because it's like the divorce setup where you have the shock and then the spring and the, on the spring is where you pretty much adjust it. The rear wasn't that low. The majority of my adjustment was gonna be in the front anyways. We'll see how I do this. On the front, it's pretty much like any other coilover where you just adjust it right here. I don't really know what it's called, nut or whatever. Turn it that way so that it, the spring can go up a little bit higher and causes the ride to be a little bit higher. Also, while we're in here, this isn't looking too good. When I was doing the test drive and the fog light got yanked out, it broke all the little clips right here for the fog light, which sucks. I'm gonna have to see how I can mount up that fog light, but as of right now, it's not looking too good. Too lazy to go get the tape measure, so I kind of just based it off this, and what do you know? It's basically the same length as this silver thing. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna spin this until this ring is probably like halfway up on the thing that is rusting. I think that should be good enough. And then I'll try to match it on the other side as well. Now for the final measurement, I decided to go get the measuring tape and we are almost identical to the other side. I don't know if y'all can see, focus up. We're pretty much at like two and a quarter on this side. Passenger side, two and a quarter. Both sides are basically equal. Right there, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I raised it up a bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel on. The lower just to see kind of where the wheel ends up. We'll see if we have to make any more adjustments. Aha, uh -huh, see, now we're talking. That looks a little bit more reasonable. Oh man, this side is actually pretty high. I remember one side being a lot higher than the other, but we checked the measurement. It should theoretically be the same. Pavement isn't leveled, so I'm kind of hoping that plays a part in this. If not, definitely gonna have to do some adjustments. But for now, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Since I'm running out of time, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do the fender liners. We're gonna start out on the passenger side fender since it's there. We just kind of have to work it back into its original spot so that it can line up with all the holes and we can install all of our hardware. Anytime that I turn the wheel to the left, it would kind of just rub here, rub here, rub here. And I think over there, it would like drag or something. Like it's all loose gonna see if it works out already after messing around with it i'm getting it to fit way better than what it did before it had this like air duct for the brakes some of the tabs were broken on the air duct anyways so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and delete it it was just kind of causing it to not fit that well so i'm gonna go ahead and put all the remaining bolts and hardware that i have and then i'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how to connect it to the bumper because the bottom of this is a bit broken this fender liner is officially secured i did what i could and on the bottom i did install a bolt right here I don't know if y'all can see that. And then over there, I just kind of used a zip tie. It's not the best fix, but it'll do for now. Um, if it works for drifters, it'll work for a daily driver. This side is now complete. And now we can go ahead and work on the other side. I went ahead and tried to mount the fog light on the driver's side. And dude, not one freaking mount clip bracket will save. There's literally no way to secure the freaking fog light. Oh, that sucks. So at this time, I didn't know that the fog light was attached to a bracket and that bracket was attached to those tabs on the bumper. So I ended up just zip tying the fog light onto the bumper. It, I know it doesn't look great, but that's just kind of what I did for right now. I know this looks terrible and I probably shouldn't even be showing you guys just because you guys are probably, probably gonna think that this is how all my cars look, but this is only this car. <laughs> it looks crazy up in here, but I got the fog light pretty much at least just sitting in there with a bunch of zip ties just kind of holding on to different points. All right, don't roast me in the comments. This is not how it is today. I properly fixed it, which you will see in a future video, so stay tuned for that, but that, it, that was just a little quick fix for that for today's video. It looks better than my first idea. A little crooked right there. That's it for the fog light. I'm gonna go ahead and try to install the fender liner. There you go, fender liner is now securely mounted. Now I can go ahead and install the wheel and we'll be done with the front of the car. Went ahead and cleaned up all my tools. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the wheel to the tire shop so we can get this one installed onto that one. This tire isn't any better in wear compared to this one. 
I'm mainly doing this just to get the same size tire matching with the driver's side. Having a vehicle to move around parts like that uh, is one of the biggest reasons to actually get a truck. I'm not dissing anybody that doesn't have a truck. 100% sure the 240 will be able to handle to move some tires and some wheels. I'm just grateful to have a truck because I've had my fair share of moving things around in the 240 and the hatch. We are now on our way to the tire shop. Hopefully it all goes by fast. I got things to do. What the heck? It's free traffic, but I think an accident happened or something like that because I see the police over there or something's going on. But right now that I'm driving, I was kind of just thinking about the fog light situation on the bumper and I'm not really happy with the whole zip tie thing. It'll, it'll work for right now. But, well, I remembered that plastic welding is a thing. Why don't I just go to like a junkyard, get all the little tabs that I need, cut them off the, uh, the bumper at the junkyard, bring them home, and then plastic weld them onto this bumper. I'll pretty much have the original supports or for the fog light. Just an idea. <laughs> I probably just made it. Not a mistake, but obviously it doesn't help with the whole budget for the car. When I got there, I was thinking, might as well replace both the tires on the rear because they hardly have any thread. So I asked him if he had another set that was in a lot better condition, and he does. I'm gonna go to the house, get the wheel, get the money, come back, we'll get the tires replaced. Cash the guy out on my way home now with the wheels. Probably not gonna have enough time to work on the rear suspension, so I'm probably gonna leave that for another day. For now, we got the tires. This is how the car is sitting in the present. Got new fresh tires on the rear, the front. It almost kind of like settled down, but it's a lot more comfortable to drive now, which is the most important thing. But well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for the rest of the BMW series. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Chaleganitas.